Here we are in the SpaceX machine shop. Uh, we have uh, geez, about 30 different machines. Back in 2002, when Elon Musk launched SpaceX, the company's beginnings were incredibly humble. At that time, SpaceX was essentially just some carpet and a mariachi band. That's it. But there was one other thing, Elon's boundless ambition. His goal was nothing less than sending humans to Mars. On April 20th, 2023, humanity took a significant step toward that vision with the first orbital attempt of Starship, the largest fully reusable rocket ever built. Although the mission didn't go as planned, with Starship failing to reach orbit, learning from setbacks has always been a cornerstone of Elon's strategy at SpaceX. It's remarkable to think that he built a rocket company with just a bachelor degree in economics and another in physics. Elon's journey started in Canada, where he studied at Queen's University in Ontario, about three hours from Toronto. Interestingly, he chose Queen's over the University of Waterloo, known for its prestigious engineering program, because, as he mentioned to Queen's magazine, Waterloo seemed to lack a social scene with women. I didn't want to spend my undergrad years with a bunch of dudes, he admitted. After two years, he transferred to the University of Pennsylvania, believing an Ivy League degree would open doors in the U.S the hub of tech innovation. Still, degrees in economics and physics weren't enough to make him an expert in rocketry. So Elon taught himself. As a child, he developed a habit of voracious reading, even finishing an entire encyclopedia at just eight or nine years old. As an adult, he consumed technical books on rocketry and reached out to experts in the field. One of them was aerospace. Consultant Jim Cantrell, whom Elon cold called, Cantrell, recalling the conversation in an interview with Esquire, thought Elon introduced himself as an internet billionaire while on a call in his convertible. Elon wasn't quite a billionaire then, but he had made $180 million from his financial services company, X.com, which later merged with PayPal and was acquired by eBay. Elon invested every dollar of that fortune into three ventures, $100 million, went to SpaceX, $70 million to Tesla, and $10 million to SolarCity, which eventually merged with Tesla. Back in 2001, Elon had considered buying a refurbished intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, from the Russians as a starting point for his space goals. His idea was to use these rockets to send small payloads, maybe even mice, to Mars. However, the Russians demanded $8 million per rocket, far more than Elon was willing to pay. When he tried to negotiate for two rockets at that price, they reportedly dismissed him with a condescending, young boy, no. Frustrated, Elon left the meeting. On the flight back, he created a spreadsheet to calculate the cost of building rockets from scratch. He realized it was possible to create a moderately sized rocket to carry research payloads and smaller satellites for much less than the Russians asking price. That realization gave birth to SpaceX, with a mission to build its own rockets. Starting a rocket company is no small feat, but Elon found support in Tom Mueller, a leading figure in rocket science. At the time, Tom worked for aerospace giant TRW, later acquired by Northrop Grumman. On weekends, he pursued his passion for rocketry by testing homemade rockets in California's Mojave Desert as part of a hobbyist group through Connections. In the amateur rocket community, Tom met Elon. Tom became the mastermind behind the Merlin engine, the power source of SpaceX rockets. This engine is so powerful it can burn through concrete, and it revolutionized spaceflight by being reusable. Elon understood that making space accessible to everyone required drastically cutting costs, which could only be achieved with reusable. Rocket technology. The partially reusable Falcon 9 is a prime example, with its booster capable of returning to Earth and landing safely. SpaceX's journey is a testament to ambition, innovation, and persistence in chasing a vision that extends far beyond our world. Before the Falcon 9 came the Falcon 1, SpaceX's first rocket. Its inaugural flight took place on March 24, 2006, but it lasted just 41 seconds before crashing due to a fuel leak. A second attempt in 2007 showed some improvement, but the rocket failed to reach orbit after a series of problems triggered by an unexpected jolt during stage separation. The third attempt wasn't successful either. It ended in failure when a timing issue caused the two stages collide. By this time, Elon Musk had exhausted the funds he'd allocated to SpaceX. Three consecutive failures would make most people consider giving up, but Elon never. When asked if he thought about quitting, You had that third failure in a row. Did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. 
Why not? I don't ever give up. Dolly Singh, SpaceX's head of talent acquisition at the time, recalled Musk addressing the team after the third failure. He told them, we need to pick ourselves up and dust ourselves off because we have a lot of work to do. With all the determination he could muster, Musk declared, for my part, I will never give up. And I mean never. If we stick together, we will win. Singh described this as the most remarkable display of leadership he had ever seen, saying it inspired many to follow Musk through any challenge, no matter how daunting, while Musk was fighting. To save SpaceX, Tesla was also on the brink of collapse. Musk had joined Tesla in its early days, investing a significant portion of his earnings from PayPal and stepping in as board chair. When the company went through several management changes, Musk became CEO in late 2003 with some Kurti ein Tiorin Team to his mate, a critical moment, as Tesla was struggling to survive. The production of Tesla's first car, the Roadster, had gone massively over budget, and by October 2008, the company had just $9 million left to keep going. Securing additional funding during the global financial crisis proved incredibly difficult. On top of his professional challenges, Musk's personal life was also in turmoil. He was going through a divorce from his first wife, Justine, with whom he shares five children, triplets and twins. Musk has referred to 2008 as the worst year of his life. With SpaceX failing to reach orbit and Tesla running out of money, both companies seemed destined to fail. Reflecting on that time, Musk told biographer Ashley Vance that it felt like having to choose between two of his children. Musk's unrelenting drive may stem from his tough childhood in Pretoria, South Africa. He endured years of bullying, including a particularly brutal incident in 8th or 9th grade when a boy kicked him in the head and shoved him down a flight of stairs. A group of boys then beat him so badly that he lost consciousness and suffered nasal damage, later requiring surgery to fix his deviated septum. Life at home was no easier. After his parents divorced, Musk chose to live with his father, but he later described him as a deeply malicious person, telling Rolling Stone that his father had a carefully thought out plan of evil. Despite these hardships, Musk found solace in coding. At just 12 years old, he developed a space-themed video game called Blastar. A South African magazine published the game's code, paying him $500. Though rudimentary, it showcased early signs of Musk's exceptional intellect. Years later, he turned those sci-fi dreams into reality by founding SpaceX at the age of 30. After three failed launches, a significant venture capital investment gave SpaceX one last chance to attempt a fourth launch. Everything the company had, worked for, depended on that flight. On September 28, 2008, the Falcon 1 successfully launched into orbit, achieving this milestone 9 minutes and 31 seconds after liftoff. This pivotal achievement was a lifeline for SpaceX, securing a $1.6 billion NASA contract to transport cargo to the International Space Station. With this breakthrough, SpaceX avoided collapse, but Tesla remained on the brink of financial ruin. As Tesla faced a cash crisis, Elon Musk came up with a survival strategy. He reduced the workforce by 25% and reached out to friends to cover payroll. Scraping together $20 million, which included proceeds from his investment in a cousin's data center startup that Dell had acquired the year prior, he convinced investors to match his efforts. This 40 million funding round saved Tesla just in time. On Christmas Eve, it was truly a last minute rescue. Even after going public in 2010 at $17 per share, Tesla endured years of struggles. While the Model S impressed the world after its 2012 debut, potential buyers hesitated to commit to the luxury electric car. To combat this, Elon assigned employees to focus on convincing customers who had placed $5,000 deposits to follow through with their purchases. When demand slowed, Tesla quietly paused factory operations under the guise of maintenance, hiding the real reasons to prevent panic among investors and avoid a stock crash. Elon's resourcefulness paid off. Tesla shocked Wall Street in 2013 by reporting its first ever profit. Despite this victory, Elon's ultimate vision was to produce an affordable electric vehicle for the masses. However, Tesla couldn't keep up with demand for the Model 3. Elon warned that the company was entering production hell. Initially, he promised to manufacture 5,000 Model 3s per week, but by early 2018, production was only hitting 800 cars a week. The company was hemorrhaging cash as it ramped up efforts to increase output for its most accessible car. Musk later revealed that Tesla came dangerously close to bankruptcy, just a month away from running out of money. In these dire times, Elon, 
reportedly slept at Tesla factories, both to save time and to show solidarity with his employees, enduring more hardship himself than anyone else on his team. Speaking to Bloomberg, he admitted, whenever they felt pain, I wanted mine to be worse. His relentless determination carried Tesla through one of its toughest chapters. The challenges diminished as Tesla once again found a way to navigate out of trouble. By boosting production, the company managed to turn things around heading into 2020. Since then, Tesla has grown from operating a single factory in Fremont, California, to establishing manufacturing plants globally. In 2022 alone, Tesla delivered an impressive 1.3 million vehicles, one of which I had the pleasure of owning. While driving across Canada last summer, I couldn't help but imagine a future where electric vehicles become so common, they're simply referred to as cars. Interestingly, I noticed how empty Tesla supercharging stations were during my journey. Rarely did I see anyone else charging their car. That said, these stations are bound to get busier soon. Many nations, including Canada, have pledged that by 2035, all new cars and light trucks must be zero emission vehicles. Moreover, other automakers, such as Ford, are now set to utilize Tesla's charging infrastructure. Tesla's future, however, isn't just tied to producing electric vehicles. Elon Musk has emphasized that achieving full autonomy for its cars, where no human intervention is needed, is crucial. This innovation could be the deciding factor between Tesla being extremely valuable or losing its edge. While engineers continue refining Tesla's full self-driving FSD technology, the company is also working to apply this tech beyond cars. Enter Optimus, Tesla's humanoid robot, which may have seemed like a novelty when first introduced in 2021. Yet those paying close attention understand that Optimus has the potential to surpass the car business and even FSD in value. Skepticism surrounds some of Elon Musk's other ventures, such as his plan to combat traffic congestion with Tesla-equipped tunnels developed by The Boring Company. Whether these tunnels become a revolutionary mode of transport or face insurmountable, hurdles remains to be seen. Similarly, Neuralink, which received the green light to test its brain implants on humans in May 2023, is still in its early stages. The device is designed to stimulate the brain, giving individuals with spinal cord injuries the ability to control computers and smartphones through thought. Musk has expressed cautious optimism that Neuralink might eventually restore mobility to those unable to walk or use their arms. In the long run, the company's vision is to integrate human capabilities with official intelligence. Across all of Musk's companies runs a shared ambition, breaking free from earthly constraints from making life possible on Mars to reducing reliance on fossil fuels, solving traffic woes, and overcoming biological limitations, his vision is expansive. Even Twitter, now rebranded under the corporate name X Corp, reflects this drive for freedom. Musk envisions transforming Twitter into X, an all-encompassing platform, although Musk has been working on many of these ventures for more than a decade. Their full potential is only starting to unfold. Whether he achieves his goals or falls short, one thing is clear, he won't quit. As he once said, when something is important enough, you do it, even if the odds are against.